what truly is the difference between she and timu and wish i wonder if i can find the exact same product on every single website and see if it is the exact same oh my gosh not to mention everything is priced so differently who did it first and who's copying who <gasps> wait did i just swap those So today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be an investigator on... Probably a useless mission. <laughs> so I did a very honest, unsponsored review on Timu a couple weeks back, and I was kind of comparing it to Shein and Wish in that video. And from that video arise a lot of questions about like what truly is the difference between Shein, Timu, and Wish. They all seem very similar. They all offer thousands of products in many different categories. They're all very, very affordable and they're all presumably produced mainly in China. But even with all those similarities, they all make different claims about where they're based. They obviously are under different entity names. So then I started to be curious, even with all of these claims that they are different, maybe they use the same manufacturers. And that brought on the question of, I wonder if I can find the exact same product on every single website, order it, and see if it is the exact same. So for the sake of this video and to see what products show up and how similar they are, we are gonna be shopping on both Shein, Timu, and Wish. Now these are obviously brands that in the last few years I've tried to commit more to not shopping on them just because I worry about how ethical they are. But yeah, for the sake of this video, I am gonna be purchasing those items because I really wanna see them in my hand. Let's get shopping and I'll show you what we got. Okay, I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm doing all of this searching around right now. It took eight hours to find this stuff. So I'm just gonna be showing you like an overview of it. Okay, the first item I was able to find is this textured hollow out detail bubble slides. That's the name on Shein. On Timu, it's woman's solid color bubble slides, lightweight close toe, non-slip slipper soft house slide shoe. So longer. And on Wish, beach men, ladies, bubble sandal, slipper, summer, home shoes, thick sole, bubble ball, slipper, men's size 35, 48. Okay, I'm not gonna read every title of every single one. Don't worry. Don't click off the video. I'm not gonna do that for every single one. I just wanted you to notice that each one has bubble in it. I don't know why I wanted to make that clear, but they all say bubble. So I'm gonna get them in pink on each site. Next item we have are these lollipop earrings. Here they are on Wish, Timu, and here they are on Shein. I'm just like so curious, like they're even the same photo. If you haven't noticed yet, this is gonna be a very random haul of items. Here we have a vintage heart design desktop makeup mirror. Here it is again, different product photo this time. And here it is on Wish. Timu's winning for being the most affordable. Here we've got a pink fluffy bag pink fluffy heart bag, pink fluffy heart bag. Now you may have noticed the exact same photo. I mean, this is definitely not something I would normally buy, but it's a butterfly tiara. Here it is on Timu, here it is on Wish, the same thing. Dog jacket, dog jacket, this dog is so cute. Dog jacket, same photo. We've got some heart sunglasses. Okay, weird thing with this one is on Shein, it's sold as a three pair, so we can't really have the price comparable, because like Timu, way cheaper. And then Wish, same diff. But we have this cord skirt, here it is again, here it is again. Now Wishes was a little bit different, I almost didn't include Wishes, because as you can see, like the buttons are different, and like it is quite different, but it was the same idea and I really wanted to have like an, a full outfit. This is kind of the same diff as the last one. They're the same but they aren't. It's obviously a black turtleneck but this picture looked pretty much the same to me. And then this one was like the same. Each of our carts are the exact same items. I think with only one stipulation on Shein, the sunglasses were sold in a pair of three. And as you can see with the prices, Wish is the most expensive for sure, $138. Shein is $96 and that's keeping in mind we're getting three sunglasses. And then Timu coming in at $64, which is so interesting. It just really brings on the question of if they're using the same manufacturer, each is doing a different profit margin. Tisk tisk, like what is going on? We'll get to the bottom of this. Before we can get into comparing those products, a word from today's sponsor, Native. I personally started using Native a couple years ago as I was looking for a paraben and aluminum-free deodorant. And once I started using Native, 
I didn't look back. Using this deodorant always keeps me feeling fresh and worry-free as I can rely on it to keep me smelling yummy, but also with having peace of mind because I know Native creates products that are vegan and cruelty-free and made with ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter. Another reason why I love Native is the texture of the deodorant. They don't feel sticky at all and they feel dry while you're applying it. With so many different scents to choose from, you are bound to find some that you love. Some great options for your consideration are aloe and green tea. I have honestly never found a Native deodorant smell that I don't love. It's just so fresh and summery. I took a little bit of a risk with the jasmine and cedar, but that jasmine is just so sweet and soft and flowery. Or my personal favorite, the buttercream and French vanilla. This one smells just like a bakery. And who doesn't want to smell like a bakery? Let's be honest. Whichever scent you choose, you can rest assured these deodorants protect odor all day with 72 hour protection. One really cool thing too is Native offers a plastic free packaging and it's earth friendly and 100% plastic free. If you're interested in using quality personal care products, make sure to head over to nativecoast.com or you can use my link and code MiaMaples2 for 20% off your first purchase over at Native. This offer is available site wide, but only for a limited time. So make sure to stock up and save. And with all that, Back to the video. Okay, it has been a couple weeks. Everything got here. There was a few things along the way that was kind of weird. Timu's order kept getting pushed back. And every time it got pushed back, they gave me $5. I mean, I'm not complaining because I guess when an order gets pushed back, it's good to compensate. But yeah, I just kept getting emails of $5 being put in my account, so. But it's here now. But Shein's arrived the quickest. And then surprisingly, even with how much Timu's got pushed back, it came before Wishes. But something really interesting to note about Wish all of the Wish stuff actually came in two different packages, which if you've ever shopped on Wish, you know that normally it all comes in individual packages. So we have one individual and then the rest came in this package, but it's all wrapped individually. And then Timu's and Shein's came in their own packages as well. I'm gonna try to do this in the most organized way possible, but I think it's gonna get pretty crazy. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first piece we're gonna check out is these pink bubble shoes. At first glance, they look very similar, but the colors are a little bit different actually. Like it's almost an ombre from pink to peach. They actually all feel a little bit different. Oh my goodness, there was some serious price differences here. The prices are gonna be very general because the prices are constantly changing around. Like at any given moment, it'll be $7.20 and then sometimes it'll be $7.90. I think it's something with the Canadian conversion is always changing. Timu was the cheapest by a lot, like around $7.99. Wish was a whopping $28.65. And Shein was $20.25. All of these prices are rough. So Timu is the cheapest, Wish is the most expensive. Now, let me see the quality. The Timu ones are very squishy. The Wish ones are hard. Oh my gosh, I'm so shocked. I don't think that these were from the same manufacturer. They're all a little bit different. And like, look at the pink. They're all a little different. One thing I noticed too about the base, these two are holding their shape, whereas Timu's kind of got crushed in the mail. It's not like a huge deal, obviously, but I'm noticing it. I'd say all of them definitely look like the picture, but there's definitely differences here. Okay, first we have the Shein pair. Can I just also say that I probably never would have an interest in these shoes outside of the video? <laughs> I mean, they're soft. I think like they're a little small for me. Time for the Timu ones, let's see. These ones are the ones that are kind of crushed around the base, all right? I mean, these ones are fitting better. They're hugging my feet a little bit more, but honestly, they feel pretty much the same. Yeah, the size difference is kind of crazy. Like, looking at them, this is like a full size bigger. Did I order them in the same size? Last but certainly not least, the hardest ones, the Wish. Oh, no. No. No Wish. No! These ones feel like the Shein ones, by the way, but they are so hard. Not squishy at all. No. I would say that the Shein and the Timu ones almost feel the exact the same. The Timu ones fit better. These ones, on the other hand, these are hard. There's the try on. Okay, the next product we're gonna dive into is the Tierra. Now, obviously, I wouldn't normally buy a Tierra, but this is for the sake of science. Oh, ooh. Okay, we have some broken pieces on the Wish one. You can probably tell, but like this one was supposed to be right here. Let me take a close look. Oh my gosh, 
It's so insane. They're actually different. On first glance, they probably look the exact same, especially from a distance. But close up, the butterflies are different and also the beading around. Like the pearls are way bigger on the Shein one versus the Timu one. Even on the Wish one, it's quite different. But I mean, we have to put them on our head. Okay, first here is the Timu one. <laughs> it really goes with my outfit, really nice, look. I mean, I do have a big head, it's really squishing it, but it feels very strong. Okay, now we have the Wish one. This one's also metal. Oh my gosh, ow, 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 ow. It's so small, why is it so small? Is it because it's for a child? This one's really squishing my head. Ow, I can hardly leave it on, to be honest. And obviously it's not as tall because all the pieces broke off. This one really hurts. I feel like this one's only for a kid. The last one, which I don't know why, but I feel like it looks the most grand. Maybe because the pearls are also the biggest, but this one's from Shein. I will say though, it got bent up a little bit in the mail. You can probably tell this one's pushed in. Like just nothing's that high quality, you know? And that one also hurts my head. <laughs> I'll put me wearing them side by side so you can see, but they're really close. I would say again, Wish just, I mean, it broke in the mail, so. Okay, next we have the pink fluffy bag. Just at first glance, I'm gonna say the Shein and the Wish one are looking more similar. This one is definitely an outlier. Let's see. <laughs> Soft. Okay, my first thought is, oh my gosh, the Wish and the Shein one look the same. <gasps> I think we might've found our first product that's the same. Wait, did I just swap those? I think I did, okay, wait. I think we found our first product. They are pretty well the same exact size. They have the same charm in the back. I think the only difference is the Wish one looks like it's been weathered, whereas the Shein one looks brand new. These are the same. These are the same. These are the same bag. This one on the other hand. Oh my gosh, wait a minute though. It's the same, it's the same thing. The pink is just different. Now I'm really getting sussed out. This chain here is what I'm talking about. It's the same on every single bag. Why is Wishes so much more? It's clearly the same product. This has been the closest thing. Okay, the next product is these lollipop earrings. Now this is probably the one that we were pretty close in price. Yeah, like $1.60, $2.50, $1.90, pretty close. All right, first thoughts. Well, the Wish ones are obviously different because they have a silver clasp rather than a gold clasp. But the Shein and the Timu one, wow. The woman was too stunned to speak. The reds are like the exact same. The stick is the exact same. These are so similar. Legit, the only difference is the silver. And the Wish ones have a little bit of cloudiness to them. Okay, here are those in. They look like the photo. I think my only thing with the Wish ones is they definitely have like the cloudiness there that I mentioned earlier. I don't think that was on purpose. Okay, there are the Timu ones. See how they don't have any of that cloudiness? I think these ones are a little bit better. And they're also a little bit lighter, which I like. And there are the Shein ones. They feel the exact the same as the Timu ones. They look the same. It makes me wonder who did it first and who's copying who. I would say Timu and Shein won this one though, if it was a competition, but super similar on those. This is probably the piece I'm most excited about. This is the dog outfit. It was $5.99, $6.89, $5.98. So pretty similar. And yes, we are gonna get Chip to try them on, of course. Wow, so similar. Like even the eyes, so close. Shades of green, slightly different. This one's a little more emerald, this is a little more darker, this is the lightest. Unless there's like a fabric discrepancy, which there could be. This video is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Well, let's try them on Chip and see if they look any different maybe. Hard to say though, hard to say. All right, it's time to try the outfits on Chip. I found him downstairs napping. He said, no, I don't want to try anything on. I'm not your show dog. Okay, we're gonna do Shein first. Ooh, it fits nice. Fits you pretty good, doesn't it? How's the toque feel? How's that feel? Okay, he says it's okay. Let's try the other one. Ooh, that one feels good on your head. That one's nice too. How's the hood? He said it's really nice, Angelie. <laughs> Not as soft. It's 
still nice though. This is the Wish one. This one's just a little wrinkly. The ears are kind of close together. It's good though. <laughs> I would say the Timu one was the best. Okay, next we'll do the corduroy skirts. We have $20.69, $17.68, and she incoming the lowest at around $13. Oh, Intima Westing. Honestly, the Wish and the Shein one don't feel like honest corduroy. They're so thin. The Timu one, though, is probably the best quality. This one kind of feels weird. And actually, it's a little see-through. That one is not see-through. That one's not either. But we need to put them on. Okay, here is the Shein skirt on. It's really cute. My only thing is, like, it is very, very thin, as you can probably see. It just doesn't make me think of corduroy. And when I hold it up like this, like if there was a sunbeam on me, it would 100% be see-through, which I feel like for a black skirt to be see-through. Okay, here is the Timu one. It also looks very nice. I would say this one's thicker and not see-through. Like you don't want a see-through skirt. So this one, in my opinion, is nicer. But yes, this one's very cute and it fits great. Okay, this one is the Wish skirt. Now this one, I initially thought it looked better, but the way it's sitting, it just looks all crushed. Now granted it wasn't a package, but the other ones were able to come out of the package and really flop down nicely. I'll put them all side by side. I think they're all cute skirts. Do they all look very similar? Yes, but I would say my favorite is the Timu one if I had to choose one. Okay, next is the sunglasses. This price comparison is gonna be thrown off a little bit because obviously Shein had a three piece. I might've got those in green, I guess. Sorry about that. It's gonna like mess it up a little bit. There is nothing different about these. I'm trying to really look. Wishes is a little uneven. I'm staring at these, trying to find a difference. I see one little teeny difference. The Timu ones have a bit of an indent here. That's legitimately the only difference. Oh my gosh, I just grabbed all these like this and now I can't remember which one was which. Okay, so obviously the Timu ones are green. Ooh, they feel nice. Very comfortable. And see, this is what I'm talking about. It's a little bit different as opposed to the Shein ones that are completely flat. Do you see that? Here's the Shein ones. Whoa! These make it so red. I can like hardly see. Okay, now the Wish ones. This one had a little bit of broken piece on the bridge, but it's still comfortable. The Wish and the Shein ones are the closest. Like these are the same. Like if you don't want to buy three, I'd go on Wish. Okay, the next thing is this heart mirror. They are looking very promising. They've all been sent like basically in the same box. Oh my gosh, I think we might have found one that's the exact same. Oh, this one's broken. Timu, it's broken. It's also really, really not quality. Like this is plastic for anyone wondering. It's not like metal. The elephant in the room is definitely the Timu mirror is broken. Can you see that crack in there? It's broken. So Timu, <laughs> Other than that though, the detailing on the top, on all three, the exact same detailing on the side, the bottom here, the base. You guys, we officially found one product that is the exact the same. Of $6 to $12, not okay. These are the same. Okay, the last product is the black turtleneck. $8.39, $10, $13.70. So Shein is the most expensive here. I'm always interested to see what the tags say. No tag on this one. No tag in that one either. They don't feel the same. Shein's feels thinner and softer. They're the same like ribbed effect though. But like, look at the sleeve difference. This is the Wish one and this is the Shein one because this one's like super stretchy. This one's not even close though. It's not similar. I'll put them on, but this one's hard. Okay, I have the Wish turtleneck on. Can I just say I'm very shocked that this is from Wish because this is so soft and so comfortable. I love a stretchy 
turtleneck. This is gonna be really hard to beat by the other ones, but let me put the Timu one on. Okay, here is the Timu one on. It fits nice and it's really soft actually, but the sleeves are too short. But I actually really like it. The ribbing is way different though. Like the other one's like a thicker rib. This is very teeny. Okay, but let's put the other one on. All right, the Shein one. I'm kind of shocked because I thought the Shein one would be the best because I feel like Shein's most popular for the clothing. But honestly, you guys, it's a little bit see-through. And secondly, it feels very cheap. Like you can probably see how see-through that is. Look, it's the least soft too. Like it's a little bit scratchy around my neck. Yeah, Shein didn't kill this one. I'm a little bit shocked to report. I think my favorite turtleneck was the Wish one. Wish is doing good in one category. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what the takeaway from this video is. I mean, I know quite a few of you guys were curious to see this type of video and I was curious myself. I had almost convinced myself that Timu, Shein, and Wish were all just getting the pieces from the same place. But now I am not so sure. I would say the mirrors and the fluffy heart bag give me the most vibes of like being produced in the exact same place. But everything else, they all had differences. Which then brings on the thing of like, who started it? Like, did they copy a different brand or did they copy copy each other. Not to mention everything is priced so differently. Timu is by far the most affordable and Wish is the most expensive. Interesting. But yeah, now I guess I have three of everything. Let me know if you know any triplets who like to dress the same. I hope it was interesting. I, I hope some people were curious about this and this answered some questions or at least was entertainment. Anyways, with that, I think we're done here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!